Oh, this is fun. We uh, This is a returning guest, was on a, a few months back, uh, and looks like she's brought a relative of, or uh, when I say That's she. That's clearly a man. <laughs> it's clearly a man. And, oh, uh, great thing. What a I thing. misspoke, but uh, he's he's did. brought a relative. Uh, please welcome back uh, to the show, Gary Urbanski. Hey there, Scott. How you doing? From Chicago. Yeah, thanks so much for having me back. I brought my brother, Ron, on. Oh, Ron. Hey, Ron Urbanski. Hi, it's great to be here. <laughs> it's great to meet you. <laughs> Ron, on, on. Ron, I wanted to show you these nice people. I was here right before Thanksgiving. It was yeah. a great time. It was a great time to travel, especially, you know. You To do a character recap for you, you... Uh... Yeah, so I own <laughs> Oh, a... and we should probably go around the horn. Yeah, we got to do oh, around I'd the... love to hear that. Yeah, yeah. who you, are you guys? My scoff is too tight. I <laughs> knotted it up twice. Intern, real death, fake death, host, death host. Oh, that's, that does it really well. Just remember that. Actually, Sorry, guys, that's just not enough detail for me. <laughs> Yeah, we're a little thick. We could use lots more exposition. <laughs> you, uh, you, you run the store. Uh, Urbanski's Wig and Weave down at 35th and Halstead. It's a, uh, it's a beauty supply store that primarily services the African American community. Because right. as you know, they out purchase uh, any other ethnic group nine to one. So it's a pretty right. solid business. But deal. a lot of people think that it actually is is uh, different. Well, store. okay, so they think this it's is Urban Sky. Yeah, because they say oh, my name is spelled and my idiot brother ran here. He uh, he didn't trace out the letters on the sign before he wrote. It. So we get a lot of confused ladies coming in, expecting Urban Sky beauty supply. But I don't know why they don't purchase anything from me. You know, I put on my best or locker jersey. I uh, try to spruce myself up, you know. Sure, sure. And uh, so I was having some business trouble, but uh, Ron actually struck out on his own. Right. We talked about Ron last time you were here, right? Yeah, and I'm an idiot. I went to college. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Is that what I said? I no, don't. I'm uh, no. It does sound good. like something you I, would say. I, who are you making fun of? Scott, it's a very good Scott Ackerman impression. This is the time to be anti-intellectual. This guy's got you, man. Yeah, he listens to the show for no. sure. I was just bringing up a personal beef between me and my brother. Oh, oh I see. You know, okay, he's real fancy with the college and whatnot. And I could barely get out of grammar school, but we don't talk about it. Okay, well, it seems like that's all you've been talking about. <laughs> on, the car, on the car ride from LAX to here, yeah. Oh, you came from LAX to here? I don't know if you can tell, but this is my first time out of Chicago. I don't know how I would be able to tell that. I mean, you're wearing a, an LA Dodgers cap. Yeah, we bought it at the uh, we bought it at the little Starbucks that's down by baggage claim. You know, okay. they sell those now. All right. Well, also got a chai tea latte, no water, you animals. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Hey, hey, Who hey, are hey. you striking Wait out? A Ooh, is that a drill? Who are the other problems with your brother, not us? <laughs> he's just a little testy. You know, he's been having some struggles with his business of his own. And uh, what is your business? Could, uh, what is your business? I run a hot water laundry service called Whites Only. <laughs> oh, okay. It's great, especially for the holidays. You got a lot of guests coming into town. Maybe you don't want to wash all those sheets yourself, you know? Well, let me tell you, it's primarily right now on the south side of Chicago, and my business is getting killed. I am getting destroyed, and the holidays aren't helping. Yeah. Everyone needs their whites to be brighter. <laughs> sure. It's just gleaming bright the way Gad intended. It's White not even smoke. my fault. My storefront business doesn't have a cold water jack. <laughs> it's only got hot water. Only hot water? My hand was forced from the beginning. It goes straight from Lake Michigan, just gets heated up and pumped right into the storefront. So you started a business. Hold on a second. Uh, go Can ahead. I hear more about these water jacks? That's what I was just going to ask about. You started a business not knowing what it would be, but upon realizing that there was only a hot water jack, quote unquote. I'm not sure how that's how water comes in to the business or not. You were like, I've got to start an all hot water laundry business. That's right. Well, first I went to the city of Chicago and I got a license to practice laundry service. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that was something that you needed. Thing? Oh, yeah, you just got to fill out the proper paperwork, you know, the proper green paperwork, if you know what I mean. Oh, are you, you meaning you bribed someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. hey you're, you're the bri- person who said also, it. you bribed someone online to cut down on paperwork, you animals. <laughs> <laughs> well, Keep it green. Animals. Are you writing on the money? <laughs> you can. You yeah, can. I'm writing, fuck you, give me my license. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So it's anyone that sort of comes into your crosshairs, you want to take them down. I got a big authority problem. Yeah, I can so with hot water, the only business you can have is a laundry service? Because you could have done hot tubs, you could have done a sauna, a steam room, a soup store, ramen shop. Yeah. Soup store. Soup, soup, soup store. Soup store. Soup store, <laughs> soup store coming oh. to season three on NBC. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling very superstar on NBC up. right now. I'm not caught up. All you have to do is get a soup jack, you're ready to go. Yeah, I told him we could open Chicago's first soup plantation. 
<laughs> it's pretty expensive to get a soup jack put into a storefront I'm, property. I'm, I'm not soup sure plantation that you is guys. A- I'm not sure that you guys having your business of whites only need to open something called soup plantation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. None of us know. I know. I know. None but of I won't us say. It is know. unknowable. You do know. <laughs> it is an unknown. John Lennon, I won't know? say what the F oh. is. <laughs> I having, want these two to work it out. Having died, John Lennon, do you feel like you have access to the to the unknown? Uh, a little bit. You know, I get uh, you know answers from the universe come to me from now and then. Across the universe? <laughs> having faked your own death, do you have uh, access to the fake unknown? Yes. <laughs> a lot of times when I'm shaving people, I'll tell them, here's what heaven is probably like. Oh, so part of your business is actually getting rid of people's hair? I feel like your own hairlessness is something that is very consuming to you. Well, it is. I mean, because I here's the thing. I faked alopecia to get out of this relationship. Got it. Because Carla Furs, uh, she, <laughs> I thought she was a very shallow person. It turns out she was more accepting than I thought. She, and uh, she's been hunting for you, much like uh, our old friend Gary Marshall is hunting the Sasquatch. Well, I have her hoodie. Right. Um, <laughs> I've got a situation like that myself. So yeah. the, the key to faking your own death we'll is talk right. about later. removing all of your hair. Got it. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you, mm-hmm. you feel like everyone else has to have the hair off. If they want to fake their own do you death. Feel like, I don't understand. Do you feel like hair is the great identifier? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, I happen to agree with you. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, you yeah, run a business based on hair, the great identifier. I would think it's your driver's license. <laughs> so when you say, can I ask Ron, uh, when you say your business is getting killed, what are people doing? Are people uh, just not coming to it, or are they uh, yeah. vandalizing your place of business at I've all? Got a big, I've got a big placard up above the, f- the storefront window that says whites only on yep. it. Yep. Oh, wait, so you d- not just the name of, <laughs> of the store, you actually have a placard as well? What, what are you insinuating? The placard is the name of the store, whites only. Sure, but I mean, you have the actual name of the store up above and then a placard in the window? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's a double bad <laughs> message what i'm just trying to re- if it, someone miss if someone like let's say someone has great neck pain tremendous neck pain sure their head is tilted down they can't look up to see the placard but they can get close enough to the window to see perhaps the title of the store okay then i put in small print whites only okay can i ask do you also have a placard by that one faucet that you have <laughs> the jack yeah. the hot water jack yes yeah it says it it says hot only <laughs> Hot only, no no colds, no colds, <laughs> no cold. Oh, okay. It says, yeah, no yes. C O L period. And then I, yeah, I no cold. And I, I had customers for <laughs> the best way to abbreviate cold. <laughs> Do you know how much that D costs when you're buying stencils? Oh man. And I had stencils on. Is so much cheaper. <laughs> customers for whites only, but the customers for rubbed off, so now it just says whites only by the drinking. No, company. no coal. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay. No, no call. <laughs> okay. No call. Look, so there's a hot water drinking fountain? <laughs> that seems dangerous. <laughs> it's cold outside. It gets down to negative 20 sometimes. You want that hot water. Somebody leans fountain. over to get a sip from the bubbler and blast themselves in the face with a geyser. It's a BYO tea bag. <laughs> Type of place. It absolutely is. You can just shorten that to BYOT. We all know what that means. DB. <laughs> oh, okay. If you're one of those people who thinks I a am. compound word, it should be abbreviated. I, I mean, oh, you should. Are you not? Oh, the worst. I'll walk out here right worst. now. You should bring your own, probably bring your own mug as well, unless you're just putting the tea bag in your mouth and shooting the hot water right in there. That's a question for you. Do you have mugs there? I definitely. Empty have. mugs. I have empty mugs there. Good catch. Because <laughs> right, you don't want to show, hey, this mug's got, you know, cola in it. <laughs> we have mugs there. No all cola. cola. Another C-O-L. No coal. <laughs> I've made that mistake uh, before, mixing hot water with cola. Oof. Oh. Get oh. yourself a hot name. Every once in a while, you want a yeah, nice hot Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> An ice hot Pepsi. A steaming <laughs> hot Dr. Pepper. And now, you know, Scott, I just want to say, like, yeah, I, I am aware. I know I have trouble recognizing uh, racial tensions and uh, cultural differences yeah. and whatnot. I just, you know, I don't see color or most shape, so I have a hard time with that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, what you, I did, Have you gotten your eyes checked out, by the way? No, I refuse, you know. Yeah. Uh, You're I, squinting at me right now, and I'm right what? next to you. We're, you, like, nose to nose right now. I know. It's because I do a lot of airplane travel these days, and you know I don't like seeing any screens 
because I want to keep it pure since the last film I watched, Sideways, starring Paul Giamatti. Right. So I don't want to have to see the screen. I, I remember wanna... all this. Okay, great. I don't want to have to like watch well, anything. Listener, I so I like to stay out. partially blind. But uh, what I was going to say was that, you know, I, I am aware that there's been some tensions lately. And sure. I, I was made aware that uh, the way the white people can tell uh, other people that we're safe is by having a safety pin up. So on the front of my uh, my store, I, I put Urbanski's wig and weave and I put a big safety pin and I wrote where whites are safe. So oh, I think that'll help. Okay, I don't know. No, no, problems, I, I well, you know? and I also have up in my store window where whites are safe. Yeah, from but from you have W E A R right? from ta- any other colors. colors. <laughs> right. Okay. I, I want to make sure that your whites are, are as bright safe. as possible yeah. and yeah. are not invaded by other colors. Okay. Untainted by the impure. <laughs> Guys, are, I have, have a you, question for Gary. Yeah. Also, Merry Christmas, everybody. Okay. <laughs> yeah. A little late Merry to Christmas. get that out. Merry Christmas. It's never too late. <laughs> okay. Gary, why, why are you? traveling by plane so much these days oh gosh you know after i came here over thanksgiving i was like hey there's a whole big world out there i got to drive a (laughs) sebring for the first time and i was like what other cars don't have tops so i just been traveling around the warmer places where i could have the roof lifted up i drove a jeep wrangler down in uh, coral gables florida it was a blast you take the door (laughs) i am a dad to just accident (laughs) what I did not understand that. <laughs> John Lennon is a chameleon, folks. <laughs> I was listening to you talk, and I started talking like you. You had like a real moment there where did you... Did you take you... the doors off? <laughs> is that your jacket? <laughs> is that your jacket? Is that your jacket? Oh, well, what's that I want to know? Did you so, take the doors off the jeep? I didn't know you could do that. Thought some of me can. Okay, continue. Oh, <laughs> what do people do if they do happen to bring in some colored laundry? Do they have to like put it in separate but equal piles so that you can have some in the wash and you know they don't throw them around in there? I, I, I just don't know if. I, you would know. you would you maybe turn on a hose? I'd absolutely turn on a hose, but yeah, it would absolutely. be hot water. <laughs> sure. It would be hot water. <laughs> absolutely. So I'd have to, I, I mean, wh- what better way to separate those two colors than with a hose? <laughs> right. 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 We would have a very strong stream of water. Yeah. Well, ab- yeah. look, the hot water jacket in my... <laughs> in Is my, that your jacket? <laughs> Is hot that water. your hot water jacket? <laughs> And you know, okay, if somebody does... Okay, to catch does- you up, we've got uh, <laughs> a couple of people have dead, died in here, and some people are related. Yeah. And you know, uh, when people do bring in colorful laundry, I suggested my brother have, you know, a couple of cork boards up so we could easily separate it. One just says, like, browns, you know, and the other one, well, a bunch of school kids came and put up signs for their local elementary school, so we call that one the Board of Education. So basically, mm-hmm. they put it in the two different spots, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, then they get to kind of, yeah. you know... Have you guys... Can I ask a, qu- a personal question? Have you guys gone bankrupt yet? Uh, <laughs> define bankrupt. Uh, like zero money and you owe everyone a ton of money. <laughs> oh, Does that's bankrupt? Then yeah, <laughs> buddy, I have. Hey, well, you've you got haven't. like a lot of sass. <laughs> You know, I'm not positive Ron. who you're upset with. Well, I think he's upset with the government for having to pay all those uh, student loans. Am I, I right? Have a question Just for a college? Ron. Yes. Ron, have you ever driven a car that doesn't have a top? Well, absolutely. It's the only in way ha- to go. In how many places? <laughs> One place, Chicago. It's the best way to travel in Chicago. <laughs> top down, windows up. It's That's up. the way I like to get from place to place. <laughs> top down, windows up. <laughs> That's the way you. That's the way I'd fuck Gino's mom. <laughs> oh, hey. All right. I'm I was going to say something. Whoa. I was going to say something. Whoa. 